Hey, 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 you watching the video. We noticed that a lot of you guys aren't subscribing. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> what he said <laughs> welcome back everyone if this video looks familiar that's because it is we are actually going over some of our older videos and re-uploading them this time with commentary there was a few that i have done that some people have mentioned that they would like a kind of a walkthrough on how to do certain things so i figured i'd go over this one and give you some decent commentary on what i'm doing and why i'm doing it and different size bolts and everything that way you guys know exactly what you need now before anything make sure you uh, disconnect your negative terminal and your battery whenever you work with something electrical as you can see on the screen or as you could have seen on the screen there are two electrical connector bolts they're actually nuts uh they're 9 16 inch and then you have two starter solenoid uh connection bolts um they're both eight millimeters you want to remove the two electrical nuts first and then remove the two starter solenoid uh, mounting bolts very simple stuff go ahead and put the new one on it doesn't do this really i mean the starter solenoid is probably the easiest starter solenoid i've ever worked on the majority of the time new starter solenoids are actually built into the starter so if you have to replace that then you replace the whole thing there is an elbow at the top of the starter solenoid which you see me plugging right there um that just plugs in i mean there, there is no bolt that holds that in it just pushes right in or pulls right out depending on what you're doing with it and i just hand tighten these bolts all right let's move on to the starter so as you can see there are two electrical connector bolts and two starter mounting bolts the starter mounting bolts are 14 millimeters and then the electrical nuts or connectors um, are there's one at 13 millimeter and one that's a 10 millimeter you can see i'm removing those first you do want to remove this uh, electrical ones first just like with the starter solenoid and then you can move on to the uh, starter mounting bolts now i did have a problem with this later on those electrical connectors are so fragile um, I mean, it is a 95, so you gotta expect things to break after all those years, but you'll see that later on. I do break one of those electrical connectors, so just be careful if you're doing yours. Now I'm working on the uh, starter mounting bolts. Uh, the top one, I didn't really have a problem with. The bottom one started stripping, so be mindful of that. Uh, I didn't spray it, these down with penetrating fluid like I probably should have. So before you get started, make sure you spray it down with penetrating fluid just to make it a little bit easier to get them off. Before you put the new one in, make sure that you uh, take a wire brush to the mounting surface. Kind of brush it down a little bit, that way you can remove some dirt and debris and all that. All right, there is the new starter. Now this one, you just want to put the bolts in first, and then you can proceed to the electrical connectors. This job was actually pretty easy. Um, the older vehicles, they usually give you a little bit more room. It's not as compact as these newer vehicles are. All right, put the electrical connectors on. I want to torque these down, but you can just hand tighten them. This one I checked just to make sure they were good, and that's when an electrical connector broke. So luckily I was over at my buddy's house, and his dad uh, is very savvy when it comes to electrical stuff. And he went in and rigged up a, a new connector for me so that I can mount it. And it's been good since. I mean, we did this video, I think it was about a year ago. All right, now I'm going to put the negative terminal back on the battery. You'll notice I have that extra wire there that I'm uh, mounting to the side of the truck. That's an extra ground. I removed that earlier because that gave me a little bit more slack with the terminal. That way it, it wouldn't accidentally connect again. So I just removed that for that reason. That's all. Yeah, this is the PCV valve. It just pulls up and out of place. I also replaced the grommet uh, that the PCB valve plugged into. Plugged it right into my valve cover. I noticed that it was leaking a little bit, so don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more trick shift videos. Thanks for watching, guys.